Hi, this is Matt Murray of the Wall Street Journal here in Davos with the Prime Minister of Haiti, uh, Laurent Lamotte. Mr. Lamotte, thanks for being with us. It's good Thank to you see you much. here. You're here to talk to private sector donors really about Haiti and your recovery and try to uh, woo some investment. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're trying to achieve here? Well, one of the goals of the Haitian government is uh, to drum up support for foreign direct investment as a, as a mechanism to create jobs mm. and also for sustainable development. Mm. Haiti cannot depend only on the, the government to create jobs. Mm. We're the biggest employer right now with 65,000 jobs and we have about 4 million more jobs to create. Mm. So we're, we're here drumming up support from the, some of the largest uh, corporations around the world. We met with top CEOs um, drumming up support for Haiti as we're showing a new Haiti one that's pro-business, one that wants uh, private investment, and one that understands that uh, with private capital, we can the the, the future is uh, will, will be very bright. So, what industries are you interested in, and, and what are you hearing from CEOs? Because, as you know, I mean, you're still recovering from the earthquake. Uh, as you say, the government's the largest employer. There's a lot of NGO activity. I'm sure there's interest and also a bit of a challenge. So what what, what questions are you getting and what industries are, are you talking to? We're talking to mining companies. We're talking to tourism uh, companies. We had a meeting with Marriott, the Marriott CEO, who's opening a, Mar a new Marriott hotel in Haiti, oh. and we're very excited about that. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a state-of-the-art hotel. Um, and we spoke also to, to several um, CEOs. The, the, the idea is to... Is, is to show is to show the CEOs the opportunities that Haiti has to offer. Of course, for for a very long, we've been uh, not seen as an investment destination. So that creates in, in itself opportunities because there is opportunities in tourism. We have some of the nicest islands, offshore islands in the Caribbean, mm -hmm. nicest beaches in the Caribbean. We have a mining, uh, we have a mining potential of gold deposits estimated at $20 billion. Mm -hmm. um, we have also the construction industry as the reconstruction already begun. Mm -hmm. So it's important for us also to seek private investment in that sector to diversify the growth. The macroeconomic uh, situation is looking bright. We had a 2.8% growth this year. Uh, according to the World Bank, it's going, it's going to uh, to 6% next year. Mm -hmm. And the inflation is under control. So, so, so we're we are working very hard at uh, keeping the environment stable and, and attracting these uh, private investments. And how is the recovery going uh, from the earthquake? I know obviously everybody in the world knows it was a devastating event for Haiti. You've made progress. You still have a lot of uh, people who need homes. Uh, I think you've got some aid money and some still that you're waiting to get internationally. Can you give us a sense of, of how where you are now and what still needs to be done? Well, it's, it's been a tremendous challenge. As you know, we had a, a, a destruction of over $12.5 billion. Mm. Uh, we were promised about $10 billion and half of the money came in, mostly in emergency relief. The other half needs to come in. That will go into nation building. So we're talking to donors. On the 21st of February, we're having our first uh, donor meeting mm. in Port-au-Prince in Haiti, and uh, President Clinton will attend. And, and other donor countries will attend in order to redefine the map and the, the, the priorities of the Haitian government. As you said, there is many NGOs working in Haiti, and we're very thankful for their, for their work, but Haiti doesn't want to, to be known as an NGO nation. We want to work with the NGOs based on the priorities uh, that we've established. We have a strategic development plan that's in place uh, that we're working with the NGOs uh, to, to fulfill some of the work that the government wouldn't be able to do. So, um, so, so, so in a in a nutshell, the country is uh, Haiti is open for business. Mm. What uh, what what do you still need to do in the rebuilding? What do you think are the big tasks ahead? You've got the donor conference. I guess you have to persuade donors to release the rest of the money. That's part of it. Uh, I know that Canada has been reviewing, for instance, its donations. You've got the concern there is 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 the uh, is government stability or corruption or what's their question? Their concern is about the effectiveness of, of the, assist, the humanitarian assistance mm -hmm. because, because uh, they were part of one of the first countries to help Haiti. Mm -hmm. So we're very thankful and grateful to the Canadian people for having done so. Um, they, they were helping in the humanitarian uh, field. So mm -hmm. now we, we're, we're globally we're moving from humanitarian relief to uh, development uh, mm -hmm. assistance. So, so, so we're reviewing the strategies with them. 
and uh, and we're making sure that this development will go into the right place and give results, results, tangible results, as we have uh, a government infrastructure to rebuild, we have a, a, a social housing yeah. uh, to do, we have uh, 700 kilometers of road to uh, to uh, to put asphalt on. Oh. So so we have our work cut out for us, and we need the support and the help. Um, of course, of all our international partners. Haiti has a lot of great friends. Yeah. We have allies. Uh, everybody wants to see Haiti do better. And it's my job to galvanize and, 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 and to channel this, uh, this goodwill into, into uh, tangible results. Last question. Um, when you, you're here looking for private investment, I'm sure that you're going to be very involved in that. Uh, when, you, when you look at the road to where you'd like Haiti to be in terms of not just the recovery but beyond, the economy you'd like to see built, what, what's your thinking on the time frame, and what would you like to see Haiti look like at the end of it? We want to see Haiti become an emerging uh, nation in 2030. It's going to take a lot of hard work and dedication, and we, we're putting the hours and we're putting the hard work. The go this government is very pro-business, and at the same time, we, we, we're very uh, socially sensitive. Mm -hmm. We're investing a lot into the Haitian people, and we want to one we want to see the country uh, rebuild. We want to see the infrastructure rebuild. Two, we want to see the, the, the tourism uh, development that we started doing actually show results with new mm -hmm. hotels, and we're, we're counting on 5,000 rooms hotels. And we want to see the economy continue to grow, and finally, the, we want to see a GDP growth uh, in the next few years. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, Mr. Prime Minister, thanks very much for taking time.